Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is some this is something new. I don't really do. I'm probably not gonna do very much of these, but this game's kind of getting a little controversial now, having only been the beta. This on weekend one for the PS4. Uh, next weekend we'll start on about the 19th, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm talking about five things that I really don't like about the game as I played it so far. I've been playing it for a day now, pretty much, and it. I found some things right off the bat that I don't like at all about it and we'll start now I'll start I'll go with the ones I'm more neutral with I'm like eh they can change it but it really won't affect me too much down to the ones where I completely dislike it like it's 100% change it no, except, no exceptions so let's get right into it now the first one that I'm kinda mad about is the map sizes you only get about 60 acres of map in this game which I found ridiculous they kind of implement you. That's the way they're trying to implement. They're trying to get you to play like that more close quarters and fast-paced battles, which I don't really like. It's supposed to be more of like the tactical Call of Duties out of like the very like the very like few about two of them. And yeah, they're forcing you to play a fast-paced and very like linear gameplay. Like the maps, like I just said, the maps are very linear. It makes it feel like you're in a sandbox, kind of like a uh, like an arcade game a little bit, like a simulation. And it doesn't really fit me. I like. I don't expect it to be like a battlefield map now. Don't get. Don't get me wrong. But I expect it to be at least a little bit bigger. I'm not really a fan of it. But once again, it won't really affect me if they don't change the map size. Now this one is the map variety. Number two. Now one thing about it is, as I say this really quick, you can agree. There is a handful of maps. Now I know this is only the beta and they're probably still in development with the game I'm still I, f I still feel like there should be more variety of maps and if you're gonna choose very like a very very small quantity of maps you should at least make it better these guys chose like a handful of maps as I said previously and they're not even that good I'm just gonna say it straight up like that I don't like you know coming to games like that but the maps are not good at all besides the night vision one the one uh, this this one this one the most common and they're not they're not very good at all they feel like some feel like kind of like a training or whatever some like law enforcement would do and they don't really feel like somewhere where it would go like an actual conflict previous titles did that perfectly making the area look more war to worn and having it like looking like an actual conflict zone or hotbed and that's another thing that I had a major 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 issue with so I hope that improves by the time the game comes out now the thir number three spot is game modes. The game modes, I uh, feel like there needs to be more variety. Once again, it's like they just, mm, we'll just throw in about these game modes, not even gonna look at them, we'll just throw them in, hopefully they like it. Raw, no, 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 no. The only game modes I really like is the night vision and the team deathmatch. I don't like anything else, especially not headquarters. Domination I never liked, it's pretty much headquarters, just more vast. And the thing about the game modes is they need to add something different. I know once I, I'll say this once again, this is still a debate. I don't expect everything like when the actual game releases from retail. But I feel like they should have at least search and destroy, search and rescue, all those previous game modes that they had in the previous titles. And the game modes they chose aren't that good, just like the maps. I really had a hard time trying to utilize a strategy and kind of adapt to the game modes and especially the way they carry it out which I'll get on later on so I hope that fixes um, by the time November comes or October whenever this game is going to release not paying attention now coming to number four spot these are kind of I'm kind of getting towards where I'm completely negative not even neutral anymore so I won't be using that in a way term I'm going to be straight telling straight facts in my opinion 100% I'm sure everybody can agree with this one the damage and fatigue system I like how it's more like you're not bullet sponges but you don't really take very many either and I feel like it needs to be kinda moderate you and see I would fire the enemy first shoot him like clean in like key spots such as the neck, the chest, you know, the stomach even the head sometimes and they just eat it up, return fire and kill me it's like, it's like they just completely turn on me and I really dislike that. Me and, a, me and a few bus of mine got really, really pissed at that. The fact that you can literally fire somebody, light them up, unload half a mag into them, and they turn around and kill you within like six shots. 
and I don't even know if this is just like the transfer of your screen, but it seems like they take more shots than you, which we I really don't like. We kind of made a joke about it. The developers say, hmm, you guys will be a little bit more fragile than the enemy team because we want you guys to win or lose. So the damage and fatigue system need to be boosted. Uh, I'm not buying this game if anything doesn't change. Now this next one I really hate. The playstyles of the p characters are really, really bad. I don't like the playstyles at all. Everybody fights these battles like it's the 19th century. All you need is a whistle blowing in the background and it's good. This won't even be a modern conflict. And I don't like that. People run around. I one thing I do like is there's no weapon skins. It kind of makes the, um, it kind of boosts the immersion. And I don't like how people just run around. They don't use any kind of strategy at all. It's like they're not even afraid of being hit. Which, don't get me wrong, you really shouldn't be. You should just fight the battles. But, like I said previously, you shouldn't really just want to take all the bullets like these guys do, as you see here. They just charge up. Alright, and I think that'll conclude it. I want all of those to improve, hopefully. Would I buy this game for $60? Probably... I guess I say a 60% chance I won't, 40% chance I will. I only buy it for the campaign. I'll test out the multiplayer to see if there's been any improvements or alter alternations. Other than that, I probably wouldn't buy it. So yeah, that'll conclude it. And I guess I'll see you next video.